World leaders came together Thursday for back-to-back -back meetings of the G7, NATO and the EU. Biden, present at all three of them, decided to bolster humanitarian aid to Ukraine and extend sanctions against Russia. He also said that America would react if Russia used chemical weapons. Kim Yansin has the story. World leaders came together in Brussels on Thursday to discuss the urgent humanitarian crisis in Ukraine. The G7, NATO and the EU met back to back. U.S. President Joe Biden, also present in Brussels, met with other leaders and decided to boost aid to Ukraine while toughening sanctions against Russia. First was to support Ukraine with military and humanitarian assistance. Second was to impose the most significant, the most significant sanctions, economic sanction regime ever, in order to cripple Putin's economy and punish him for his actions. Billions of dollars in humanitarian aid and military equipment are on their way. Other countries in the alliance are pitching in as well. The U.S. will also accept 100,000 refugees from Ukraine. Biden also said that if Russia uses chemical warfare, the U.S. will not sit idly by to watch. We would respond. We would respond if he uses it. The nature of the response would depend on the nature of the use. The G7 also warned Russia against the use of biological, chemical or nuclear weapons in a joint statement. The UN General Assembly also met to discuss the crisis. UNICEF reports that 4.3 million children, more than half of the total in Ukraine before the war, have been driven out of their homes. Almost three-quarters of the General Assembly, 140 countries, voted to demand aid access and civilian protection in Ukraine while blaming Russia for the humanitarian crisis. The resolution was adopted Thursday with five votes against, including Russia, Syria and North Korea, and 38 votes abstained, including China. Meanwhile, Ukraine and Russia exchanged prisoners of war for the first time. Ukrainian Vice Prime Minister confirmed on Thursday that under the orders of President Zelensky, the two countries swapped 10 captives each. Kim Yansen, Arirang News.